Ooh, what a day, Freddy. Oh, what'd you do, kid? Well, I went to school, played around during recess, finished all my homework, and watched all my favorite TV shows. I'm really exhausted. Oh, yeah, sounds like a big day, kid. Do you know what time it is? Yeah, time for a beer. Hey, wait a minute, get back here! All right, guys, stay tuned to see the lovebirds, Freddy and Roxanne. Hey, don't tease me. You used to date that robot girl. Yeah, but I'm a little kid. You're an adult. That's gross. Yeah, just wait till you're an adult someday, kid. Mwah! Great job, babe. Thanks, sweetie. You're pretty great yourself. So, Freddy, what are your plans? Oh, I mm, haven't really made any plans. Oh, what do you want to eat tonight, Roxanne? No, 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 no. I don't mean plans for dinner. I mean, plans for us. Like, how do you imagine our wedding going? What? Whoa! We just started dating, and already you want to talk about a wedding? Uh, I know, I know, but, you know, it's never too soon to start planning. Like, what are your feelings? <sighs> I have a feeling I'm going to miss being single. Keep that attitude up and you won't have to wonder for much longer. Stay tuned, guys. we got Monty's pickup lines coming up now. Yeah, the reason he has to use pickup lines is because he's nowhere near as cute as you, Freddy. Wait a minute. You think he's cute? Ah, <sighs> roll the next film. Ooh, stay tuned, guys. we got some FNAF shorts coming your way. <laughs> So, my grief counselor just passed away recently. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Roxy. Are you okay? Actually, yes. She did such a good job counseling me over grief, I really couldn't care less if she died. So, the doctor told me to say, ah. Well, that's normal. Most doctors do that. Yeah, but he told me to say, ah, because he found his wife cheating on him. Yikes, bra. So, Chica, do you like to hold hands while watching movies? Oh yeah! It's one of my favorite things to do! What about you? Oh yeah! I love it too! I love to do it all the time! Except sometimes the strangers don't like it when I hold their hands when I sit next to them. I think you need to learn about personal space. Freddy, I just got ripped off by this magician! Oh no! What did he do? He said give him five dollars and he'd show me a magic trick. Okay, and then what happened? He said uno, dos, and then disappeared without a trace! Well, that was really rude. Somebody just called and hung up. Oh, why did that happen, Chica? I honestly don't know, Freddy. Because when I answered the phone, they asked me who was speaking, and I told them you are. Yo, know, that's a big old oof there, Chica. Hey, Roxanne, I'm just letting you know I covered your door in barbed wire. Why on earth would you do that? I just thought it would look cool. But to be honest, don't knock it. Well, I'm going to smash your head in it if you don't take it off. Freddy, I can't believe it. I'm so annoying. Well, I'm not disagreeing with you, but why do you think you're annoying now? I'm annoying because I had to get a stepladder. How in the world does that make you annoying? Because my normal ladder put me up for adoption. Well, in its defense, can you blame it? Hey, Roxy, I got a ton of jokes about chimneys. You want to hear one? To be honest, Chica, no, I don't want to hear one. Oh, come on, Roxy. I got stacks of them. In fact, the first one's on the house. I will kill you and they won't find the body. Oh, Roxanne, every single woman in the world thinks I'm ugly. Oh, I'm sure there's some girls out there who don't think you're ugly. I mean, I think you're ugly and every single female I know thinks you're ugly, but I'm sure there's some girl out there who doesn't think you're ugly. See, you can't even name one female that doesn't think I'm ugly. What about your mom? I'm sure your mother doesn't think you're ugly. The last time I asked my mom if she thinks I'm ugly, she looked at me and said, I told you not to talk to me in public. So, Roxanne, were your parents strict? Like, did they hit you or anything? Well, when I grew up, I got a couple of spankings, but nothing too serious. What about you, Freddy? Oh, my dad only hit me once. Well, I guess that's not too bad. Yeah, but unfortunately, it was with a baseball bat. So I seen that Greg was digging a pond for his dad. That's 
really nice of him. Uh, it's not really that nice, Chica. Not as nice as you think. Why would you say that, Freddy? He's not digging him a pond. He's digging him his grave that he's gonna throw him in later. So, Freddy, I was thinking of surprising Vanessa with a dress. Oh, I think that sounds great. I'm sure she'll love it. Yeah, I bet she's never seen an alligator wear a dress before. You got problems, man. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I think I got ants in my pants, Chica. Well, it could be worse. How could it be worse? You could have uncles in your pants. Really, brah? You know, wherever my dad is, Freddy, I'm sure he's looking down upon me. I'm sorry for your loss, Morty. I'm sure your dad's looking down upon you right now, too. Oh, what? He's not dead. He's just really disappointed in me at all times. You know, my father keeps reminding me about times when he was a child and things were safer, like he was able to always leave his back door open. Oh, that actually does sound really nice, Roxy. I gotta be honest with you. How can that sound nice? That's the reason his submarine sank. Oh, Freddy, I'm getting violent flashbacks of my father. Oh, I'm sorry, why would you say that? Because he would constantly hit me with a camera. Ugh. Oh my god, Roxanne, Montgomery's a total moron. Well, I agree with you, but why is he a moron now? Today, he tried to buy me some lipstick. That actually sounds nice. Why does that make him a moron? Because it was a glue stick. Oh no, Freddy. One of the customers is getting really, really angry. Well, what are they doing? They keep asking me how long the spaghetti will be. Well, what did you say? I said, I don't know. We never measure it. Roxanne, I burned my butt last night. Okay, how and why did you burn your butt? Well, last night I made tea in my pajamas. How does making tea in your pajamas give you a burned butt? It does when you can't find the teapot. That's it, Freddy. I'm never going to that restaurant again. What do they do now? They told me they serve breakfast at any time. Okay, and? I said I wanted pancakes from 100 years in the future, and they wouldn't give it to me. The nerve. Oh, Roxanne, I really am unlucky. Oh, don't say that. Just because you can't ever get a date doesn't mean you're unlucky. This has nothing to do with a date. Then what does it have to do with? I opened a chocolate bar and it said loser. Well, lots of people lose those competitions. That's the thing. There wasn't even a competition. So Vanessa beat the hell out of me because I used a pickup line about Transformers. Well, that's nothing new. Yeah, but she beat me up even more after what I said next. What did you say next? Stop! I can change! Get a marinky dinky dink, get a marinky do. I love you. Get a marinky dinky dink, get a marinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Get a marinky dinky dink, get a marinky do. I love you. I love singing. I love you. We'll see you next time. I love you. Thanks for watching. I love you. You too. Boop boop be doo. Hey, Bear Cubs. Big Bear Dave here. Thanks for watching the video. And if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you like the video, hit the like button. Don't forget to check out these links here for some more awesome videos on this channel. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, Bear Cubs.